Today, I am going to solve a problem on Wecker process. You can find this problem in CSR NEET exam 2014 December. It is the problem when the cyclohexanone is treated with LDA that is lithium diisopropyl amide and allyl bromide it gives compound A. When compound A is treated with palladium chloride, oxygen, cuprous chloride, water in DMF, it gives B. What are the structures of A and B? They are given one more clue that is when the B is treated with sodium ethoxide and quenching with H plus, it gives this bicyclic compound. The options are here. First one, allylation has taken place in the alpha position and the olefin has become ketone. The second one, this allyl anion has attacked ketone to give homoallylic alcohol. The next step, there is some kind of free arrangement and we get a product whatever is in the option 1. Third one, allylation has taken place both sides. Then when you treat with palladium chloride, it gives a bicyclic compound. Fourth one, it is the enol of the first one. So it is just enol form. Afterwards, when you treat with palladium chloride and oxygen water, instead of ketone, here it is aldehyde. You may be familiar with Wacker process. In this, alkene is treated with palladium chloride. The palladium chloride coordinates to the alkene to give this complex. Now, the double bond attacks the palladium chloride and there are two possibilities. Since it is not symmetrical olefin, we get two possibilities. That is, and Which one is more favored? This one we call it Markovnikov addition product. But this one anti Markovnikov. This Wecker process prefers Markovnikov addition. That is formation of more stable carbocation but in this it is less stable carbocation so this is more preferred now this carbocation is attacked by water molecule to give this product Similarly, here also, here also I write the product. So basically, it is hydroxy palladation. Now, this palladium undergoes elimination to give enol. This is nothing but a keto. One more important feature of this process is this elimination. This elimination, it is syn elimination.
that is the hydrogen and palladium should be cis then only the elimination will take place if there is no cis hydrogen then the elimination will not take place for example I go for this compound instead of hydrogen there is methyl now so this can be obtained from this compound if you add palladium chloride and water you will get this compound this will not undergo elimination now let us go to the given problem cyclohexanone it is treated with lithium diisopropyl amide this is LDA it is hindered non-nucleophilic base the base abstracts this acidic proton to give carbanion this carbanion attacks the allyl bromide it may be SN2 prime mechanism or even it may be SN2 in SN2 the nucleophile attacks this carbon in SN2 prime this carbon to give allylated product when this is treated with palladium chloride this is used in catalytic amount during the reaction palladium 2 it is getting reduced to palladium 0 so it has to be oxidized further by some co-catalyst since palladium is very expensive we go for some other oxidant which is cheap and can oxidize palladium 0 to palladium 2 so that is nothing but cuprous chloride and oxygen so the role of this is just to oxidize palladium 0 to palladium 2 this is not involving the reaction with the double bond the palladium sorry coordinates here and it is attacked by water molecule this addition it is Markovnikov addition so this is very important then it undergoes syn elimination to give the enol I write the ketone form directly so we get this ketone in order to solve this they are given a clue also so that is when B is treated with sodium ethoxide and followed by quenching with H plus it gives this bicyclic system from this it is very clear that it is order condensation product so there should be keto and CH3 that is nothing but this so A is allylation B it is vacuum process and the product is keto suppose if the addition is anti of addition like this in this case water attacked the carbon which has less number of hydrogen but here nucleophile attacks the carbon which has more number of hydrogen now palladium chloride undergoes syn elimination
to give this product. This is nothing but aldehyde. But this will not form because in vacuum process morganic of addition product is more favor. So it follows morganic of rule. Now let us go to the given options. First one it is allylation. Second one if you add allyl green knot then you will get this. But we are not generating any allyl grignot. So this is wrong. This possibility is there, but they have not mentioned whether one equivalent or two equivalent. Even if it is two equivalent, the allylation may take place here itself instead of this carbon. So there will be so many side products. So the reaction will not be clear. So we can skip this also. This one is same as the first one. Basically, this enol form. So if I convert this into keto form, this is possible. Then, what about B? So this is the ketone that is morgonic of addition product. So this is more favored. And this one, it is anti morgonic of product. This one is not favored in vacuum process. So what we get is this product. The answer is 1. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.